What's up guys? Sarge Party here, back with another video. So before I get into the review, I want to go over a few quick little side notes. So, first off, I want to just say you guys are awesome. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. I appreciate all the messages and the emails, especially concerning my giveaway. If you guys haven't entered into my giveaway or my Instagram contest, I would encourage you guys to go watch my last video to learn more information about it. I haven't received a whole lot of entries for the Instagram contest. It's really simple, guys. Show me your best clouds. Show me your best O-rings, your best vape tricks, and use the hashtag CloudGames2015 and tag me at Sarge Party Vapes. That's all you guys got to do. I wish you guys the best of luck on those giveaways. Go watch that video right after you watch this one. Another thing that I want to touch on is obviously, guys, I'm not using the natural light as I normally do. And the thought process behind that is I feel like I can get maybe more juice reviews, especially done at night. You'll still see all of my hardware reviews done during the day with the natural light because I do prefer it. And you'll still see some of the juice reviews done during the day as well. But this just allows me using the artificial light to be able to do more juice reviews and put out more content for you guys. And I feel like that the content won't suffer at all. It's just aesthetically a little bit different in here. Alright guys? So, let's go ahead and get into the juice review. I'm going to be talking today about a line put out by Charlie Noble. It's called Admiral's Reserve. And before I get into it, I just want to thank Stephanie over at Charlie Noble for sending this juice my way. Before we get into trying the juice, I want to go over a few of the specs. I usually do that at the end. Let's go ahead and switch it up and do it at the beginning this time. Alright guys, so Admiral's Reserve by Charlie Noble consists of four different juices. The 30 mils go for $15.99. The 120 mil bottles go for $54.99. Now, for the different levels of nicotine, the VGPG ratio changes. So I'm going to take a quick look at my notes because I do want to get this right for you guys. The 0 milligram nicotine is an 80-20 blend, 80 VG, 20 PG. For the one and a half milligram nicotine, it's not listed online, but I'm guessing it's probably about 79-21 blend. For the three milligram nicotine, which is what I have, it is a 78-22. For the six milligram nicotine, it's 76-23. For the 12 milligram nicotine, it's 74-26. And for the 18 milligram nicotine, it's 71-29 VGPG blend. Alright guys, so all the juice I'm going to be talking about tonight is available at charlienoble.com. You can buy the entire line of Admiral's Reserve at their website. There will be a link at the bottom of the screen as well as in the description. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and try some juice. Alright guys, so I will be getting a little bit of help from my friends. I'm going to be using the Hexome V2 with the El Cabron RDA on top, as well as the IPV4 with the Authentic Dark Horse. Let's go ahead and try some juice, alright? So first up, we have Good Cookie. And Good Cookie is described as Charlie Noble's recipe for a warm fresh baked chocolate chip cookie with cream. I'm going to go ahead and vape it and I'll give you my further impressions. I'm definitely getting the cookie flavor, but not so much chocolate chip cookie. Imagine a chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chips, but it's not a sugar cookie. So it's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's definitely got a nice cream base. It has a milky type finish to it. Really, really deep notes, rich, rich tones to this juice. And that's a theme that you're going to see throughout this entire line. This is definitely an all-day vape for me. Nice stout throat hit. And I would definitely put this in the category as my favorite juice of the line. All right, next up we have pistachio ry4 it's described as a 
layered pistachio flavor with hints of vanilla, caramel, and light tobacco. It is a RY4 juice, guys, meaning that it's got that classic tobacco type flavor to it. But it's very subtle. I don't typically go for a whole lot of tobacco based flavors, but it's more a pistachio based flavor. It's definitely an acquired taste. I'll let you guys know that. But let me give you a vape and I'll describe it a little bit more. Wow. Definitely rich notes. I get those hints of sweet tobacco. It's almost like an old school pipe tobacco type flavor. But the pistachio is definitely the overwhelming flavor. Kind of smooths out the tobacco flavor. I feel like a freaking boss when I vape this. It's not really an all day vape for me. But if I'm just sitting back at night, just straight chilling... This is a go-to juice for me. All right, guys. So next up, we have Raspberry Ripple Ice Cream. And it's described as a mix of vanilla ice cream and fresh raspberries. Let's give it a quick vape. So I'm definitely getting that raspberry flavor. It's kind of like a raspberry sorbet along with vanilla bean ice cream. It is what it says it is. But the only thing I feel like that's somewhat lacking with this juice is I'd like to get a little bit more of that tart raspberry taste. More of a fresh raspberry taste as opposed to like say a raspberry flavored Italian cream soda taste. It's definitely not an all day vape for me, but it is a good juice. So last but certainly not least, we have peanut butter cereal from the Admiral's Reserve line. And it is described as a full-bodied peanut butter cereal flavor with thick undertones of cream. Let's give it a quick vape. This is a really, really good juice. For a peanut butter flavored juice, they really knocked it out of the park. Awesome vapor production. Really good throat hit. Definitely an all-day vape for me. Imagine like Captain Crunch peanut butter cereal, but then add a really complex cream type flavor to it, and then you got peanut butter cereal. I really like this juice. Alright guys, so there is the Admiral's Reserve line from Charlie Noble. Let me give you my overall feelings about the line. So when you're putting together a puzzle, you need all of the pieces to fit together to form the ultimate picture. And that's kind of the theme of this line. All of the different juices are really different from each other. I really like that. But they have some things in common. They're all really rich, complex flavors. Kind of hard to review and describe. They all have a nice, stout, but smooth throat hit. The vapor production is really nice. I like the fact that they altered the VG-PG ratios according to the nicotine because generally, as a rule of thumb, the higher up you go in nicotine, the lower you go in cloud production. And so I kind of like the fact that they did that. Not all of these flavors are all-day vapes for me. In fact, I had to spend more time than normal really testing out the flavors because I wanted to give you guys an accurate description, but they're so rich and complex that I really had to vape them. They're all really good. And the best thing about this line is the fact that it's really fairly priced. $15.99 for a 30 mil, I think is a really fair price. Sometimes I sit back with that RY4 and I blow clouds like a boss. I feel like John Gotti or something. But anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. It really does mean a lot to me. That's a heartfelt, genuine thank you. I really appreciate it. Let me give something back to you guys. Go enter into the Instagram contest and the YouTube giveaway. Go watch my last video and find out how you can do that. All right, guys? And when I say guys, I mean guys and gals. I hope you guys know that. Don't don't get it twisted, all right? I'm, I love the ladies. I'm very straight and I'm very single. As always, peace out. Much love. Keep your cotton wet. Sarge party.